Hello, Travis with Heggy here. This video will give an overview of Raven's Invisio Pro field computer. To start off with, this is the home screen of the Invisio Pro. As you can see, I have three large buttons, a green play, a blue tools, and a red stop or power off. To start off with, we'll talk about the settings of the Invisio Pro. So I'm gonna select the blue tools. Within the tools menu, I have options for product control, guidance with or machine offsets, display settings, and GPS settings. We'll start in product control. Within product control, I have a number of different settings to select from. Right now, we can see that the application type is set to liquid. The speed cal is set to radar with a speed cal of 1000. This is GPS speed. If I were to have a speed cal of anything other than 1000, I would be looking for a wheel speed sensor. Next, I have my valve settings for my solution pump control valve. Selecting on the valve settings will bring me into additional settings for my PWM valve on my Heggy sprayer. Here we can see my valve cal is 43 and tapping on modified PWM settings and manual calibration will bring me to my max preset and minimum PWM settings, as well as my PWM frequency. For Hege STS machines, my PWM frequency should be 122. Minimum PWM is oftentimes between 40 and 60 or 70. Preset PWM normally is between 85 and about 110, and max PWM is normally set to 190. Note that these are an 8-bit value, thus the values go from 0 to 253 on all of these selections. Hitting the green check will take me back to the valve calibration page. Hitting the green check again will take me back to my product control configuration settings. Below valve on the left hand side I have calibration settings. Tapping on calibration settings is where I enter my meter cal, my rate cal, as well as any valve delay that I would like and rate bump. Also where I can get into my pressure settings and pressure sensor calibrations. Below calibration settings, I have AccuBoom. Selecting AccuBoom brings me to my turn on, turn off look aheads for my automatic section control, as well as turn off percent and my aggressiveness. On the right hand sides, I have volume per area, per area settings, feature settings, alarm settings, and section assignments. Hitting the green check will bring me back to the main tools menu. You can see the purple icons in the second row all relate to guidance width, offsets, section width. This is where I enter all of my machine measurements. Just for example, I'll tap on sections and this will list all of my sections and section widths. Um, note that all section widths are done in inches. The next row of buttons all have to do with display. Um, this is where I can go to do any updates, um, adjust the brightness, as well as any file maintenance. This is where I can import or export files to and from my Invisio Pro. And then the bottom row of icons have to do with my GPS receiver. The Invisio Pro um, does have an internal GPS receiver, and thus the settings can be changed using the green icons on the bottom row. Tapping on my home button in the bottom right hand corner, brings me back to my main screen. To start an event within the Invisio Pro, I will tap on the green triangle or green play button. It will bring me to my start job screens. First off, it will ask for me to verify settings. In this application, I can change the job name to something more specific. It will default to the date and time. Right below that, I can see that AccuBoom, my automatic section control, is enabled. And then I can see that my product is set up here as Roundup with a target rate of 10 gallons per acre. Everything looks good here, so I'm going to hit the green check in the bottom right hand corner. After the Invisio Pro loads a job, it will ask me to confirm my AccuBoom settings and then we'll open my run screen. On the run screen, I have a number of different icons there in the top left hand corner. Um, I have my tank volume, 
tapping on my tank volume will let me enter my tank volume. So if I have 500 gallons within my tank, it will show that my tank is has 500 gallons in it. Also below that, I can see my area applied while in this job, as well as my spray pressure and my GPS shield showing my GPS status. In the top right hand corner, I have settings for my product. So right now I uh, am in currently in manual control. Tapping on that manual control will bring me into my rate settings page. This is where I can either turn my product off into manual control through the Invisio Pro or have it in automatic rate control. I'll just put mine into automatic as an example here. So now the system will work to achieve that um, 10 gallons an acre rate for me. Hitting my green check mark in the bottom right here will take me back to my run screen. Across the bottom, I have a number of different icons. On the left hand side, uh, this toggle switch icon is my AccuBoom. So when that, the background of that toggle switch is blue, that means that my AccuBoom is enabled and my sections will automatically turn on and off based on previous coverage. If I were to select that, I can pick between red, green, or, or red blue, or green. Selecting green will override AccuBoom and thus my sections will only be turned on and off using the console switches on my Heggy sprayer. Again, if I want to leave that in automatic control, I'll just have the blue icon, thus the AccuBoom is enabled. Hitting the green check mark in the bottom right takes me back to my run screen. Directly in the center of the bottom of the screen, I have an AB line. This is where I can set my AB points as far as my guidance is concerned. In this case, I have it moved, so it's going to tell me that my swath is too short. However, that's where I set those AB lines. Next icon is my magnifying glass. I can zoom in or out on this page, uh, see an overhead view there. And then I have my menu icon down in the bottom right. Selecting that, I get a number of different options as far as views, resetting guidance lines, um, as well as going back to the home screen. In this case, I've completed finishing this job, so I'm going to go back to my home screen. So I'll tap that menu button, and then I'll tap my home icon, and it will take me back to my home screen. Note that it says the job is still in progress. To actually close this job, I need to hit that red stop button. So if I tap on that, It'll ask me to confirm that I want to end this job. I'll hit my green check and then the Invisio Pro will close that job. To turn off the display, I'll again tap that red icon. Will ask me to save my settings and then we'll power off my display. Thanks for watching today's video. Um, if you have any other suggestions or things, uh, videos that you would like to see, please leave them in the comments.